Hello YouTube, today we're going to be installing vanilla Minecraft for Mac OS X and Craft Bucket, which adds a lot of functionality and extra features. So the first thing you're want, going to want to do is go to minecraft-.net slash downloads. And once you're there, right click on minecraftserver.jar and copy the link location. Now open up the terminal from the applications menu under utilities and we're going to want to use the command wgit and since this is from an Amazon repository instead of a Mac approved repository we're going to use no check certificate and paste the URL directly now once it's downloaded we're going to want to make a folder for it so mkdir make directory Minecraft. And from there we'll move the file we, we just downloaded into then the next thing we're going to do is change directory cd to Minecraft. And then we will use the Java command Java xmx one g so that means that the maximum amount of memory that Minecraft can allocate is one gigabyte, hence one g, and the amount we're going to let it start immediately with is also one gigabyte. So there's no spaces between the xms and the one g or the xmx and one g, and we'll use the jr command and Minecraft server dot jar. Oh, also run no GUI so that you don't have an annoying window pop up that you have to keep open the entire time. So that's actually it. That's all you have to do. Your server is now fully functional. Um, just to log in real quick and show you that it does indeed work. I previously started a server on my network but I'm going to use localhost and voila we're starting in a taiga biome so and you can see I disconnected so now we're gonna do something a little more interesting we're going to start with craft bucket so to close this server, I'm just going to do Control C, which kills the process. Now, normally you shouldn't do that because it won't save the world information and everything, but that's okay here. We haven't really played it. So, Bucket has a lot of different features that you can use. It's pretty cool. I would definitely recommend installing it. So go to dl.bucket.org/downloads/craftbucket and. I'm personally going to use the recommended build, so copy link location and do the same thing. So and paste that. So I believe that it is substantially larger than the normal Minecraft file because it has so many extra features to it, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. So Oops, one too many times, and no GUI. So, in and of itself, this will start a new world, and you also have the functionality to type commands such as stop or simply help. Yeah, help for a different list of commands, and again, you can. Simply log in and my other server's down right now, but 
log in to localhost, laykitsune, join the game. And that's it. Also, I highly recommend port forwarding your router so that you can let other people play on your server. Now, for some people, that means simply typing in to go to your router utility, but for me, I now have a time capsule. So you open, oops, you open the preferences and simply port forward. I believe it's under utilities, airport utility. Edit and there we go, the port forwarding, and that is all you need. So, there you go. Enjoy your Minecraft server.